What's going on guys, Garon here, just want to say thanks for clicking on this part of Final Fantasy 16 and I hope you enjoy. Well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Rollers said it themselves, their guest is in the fan. And of course that's closed off. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. I would think it'd be but how quicker will we to find her. We know not defeat the four guys. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Well, there's some guys right Looks here. Like Look at that. Getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, he's people, townspeople. Reason, well, he's not well, a townspeople. What emergency is? They've shut down the whole mine. I don't think I could ask them. Maybe someone over. All right, let me look at the map. Yeah, so it's somewhere around this whole area. Light it right, for right Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer, aren't you? Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Well, I guess we kind of narrowed our search somewhat. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. But you said Sid's know. contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. No, but the game might. Mummy, no, I want to pair with the crystal. How many times? Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Foda knows. And uh, watch him know Any nothing. Keep the from your door. Okay, he knows something. Excuse me. Are you Foda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. 
I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Well, a close friend the of the Bordello. person who had an name said previously. Silver platters. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he tr So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Oh god, you will regret drawing your weapon. Titan! All I need to do is take us to who we want to go see. And no. I don't know I can get two people with this. That's the first. Alright, I want to hit this quickly, so... Oh, two good bugs, okay. I need to see how many I have total and sell them. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. She's gotta know Clive... ...isn't it. As soon as she sees Clive... ...needed to a silken soft... ...the most fragrant... ...she has to know it's not finest fabric! Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? Okay, so he does now. <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. 
Uh, you don't look too busy. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Alright, we'll get to the point now. What is it do you want? Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Alright. Follow the crystals. Should be easy I enough. We were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang, for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Alright, so... I need to get on the other side of this building. So we just gotta speak to two more townspeople. And one right here. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I got a feeling Koopka's somehow up to that. A deposit. Light meat and dark, fresh from the grill. What does it say? Once you go flat. Okay, well, it's hot. You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? 
Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Okay. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. Well, I got a feeling back he... at the inn by now. I got a feeling he get him some, some in trouble. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... But... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. There was a butt there, but um, never fully so. It's just gonna say. Got upstairs inside. No. Maybe over here. Well, isn't Will that this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Seems like he's, um, bartering. Thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next part of Final Fantasy 16 or any of my other videos. And I will see you next time. See you.